Hey everybody, welcome to another Goody Reader comparison video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we're going to check out the Nook Tablet versus the Nook Tablet HD. The, we're looking at the old generation versus the new generation. The purpose of this video is to show you how fundamentally the UI has changed, the store, and the and if the reading experience changed. So we're going to look at the same ebooks, magazines, newspapers, and a whole lot more. So Peter, set us up. All right. So first thing we're going to look at is the home screen. These are both the home screens. The end button on uh, the Barnes & Noble Nook HD uh, sends you to home and the Nook button, uh, the end button on here brings up your uh, list of things that, you know, navigation wise, but they're always going to be on the Nook HD. I'd like to point out that the Nook tablet is flickering. Now that's not, it's not flickering to the naked eye, it's mainly because of the way that the video camera is picking up things. And the screen technology, you can tell this is the same shot, we're not split screening here, and um, just the screen technology on this is a little bit older, a little bit not as sophisticated, so you'll tell that there's no flickering whatsoever on the HD. Okay, so the first thing that I want to look at is the store, because this is a, something that's fundamentally changed from device to device. On the uh, Nook tablet, you have to press the home, uh, the end button to go to shop, and then you would just click shop on the home screen of the Nook HD. This is the main starting page for both of the, both of the stores. So this is definitely what you've seen on the Nook Color as well as the Nook Tablet. Absolutely not using the screen to any potential whatsoever. You have gigantic oversized icons, they don't scroll. Uh, you end up just clicking it by accident like that, and then you have this weird box that takes up half the screen at the bottom that has just the fonts too big and it's just way off, whereas this is, this is a proper way to display it. You have full top to bottom scroll, you have your categories, and every single section, Passion for Fashion, Favorite Heroes, has left to right scrolling as well. Okay, so the main differences with the, the Nook HD other than the revised store interface is the ability to purchase movies and television shows from a myriad of partners that Barnes Noble has established. And of course, as time goes on, they're going to get a lot more content through there. You can both rent and buy videos, both in HD and SD. It depends what you want. Uh, unfortunately, there's no ways to watch trailers. And that's and something that I wish that they would have implemented. Yeah, there's no way to watch trailers and you can both pay for and download to your device um, the movies outside of the US you cannot watch them so say if you are an American citizen you have this device you uh, rent a whole bunch of movies go on a plane and land in uh, I don't know Jamaica or something you wouldn't be able to watch any of that content because you're outside the US okay you see that the screens um, are if you look especially like I'd say like the home screen the Nook HD has a little bit better, better resolution. This is because it's using 1440 by 990, and the Nook tablet is running 1024 by 600. Really so it's a old. huge jump right. in terms of like pixels per inch in resolution. And the Nook HD is actually running a more current version of Android, uh, whereas the Nook tablet's only running 2.3. You're also seeing a dual core processor, 1.3 gigahertz, versus a dual core processor that's only one gigahertz here. Of course, uh, you can expand both of the memory as well via the SD card, so you're not limited to just your onboard storage. Uh, let's take a look at the ebook experience and see if there's anything that's changed from device to device. So we're both going to look at the same uh, device, and we only have to download it once because it actually does synchronize to all of your devices, whether you have a Nook HD, HD+, Color, Tablet, all that. So this is the same, uh, same book on both. You have text augmentation. You see that it is very similar. Yeah, it's presented a bit differently in terms of like the layout and things like that. But in essence, you have more or less the same options. I would say you have more themes available. Uh, actually, if you scroll down, it's uh, oh. carried over to a certain degree. You have uh, sepia, sepia, mocha, butter, gray, and uh, night and day. This is what a lot of users were asking, you know, has this been on any other tablets? And uh, it was actually on the Nook tablet, uh, the latest generation of the Nook tablets, um, all these amazing themes. So, uh, whereas most tablets and e-readers have just dark uh, night, day, this one has about six each. Okay, what about, uh, t uh, you know, notes, highlights, and things like that? What, what, do, what do we have here? If you press and hold, you get into highlight mode, much like you would on this. So if we add a highlight, you can click that highlight and change colors. 
um, on both of these. You can see here, if we click on a highlight we have, you can change all the colors, um, as well as if you press and hold, you also have Add Notes. Pretty much similar keyboards. I actually, I think the keyboard on the Nook tablet is a little bit nicer. They have shading and looks more three-dimensional. Yeah, a little bit more gradients and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, wow. You also have Share, so you can share these Facebook, uh, with contacts, Twitter, pretty much the same thing on both. And pressing and holding also gives you look up. You can look up in uh, the book uh, any particular word. And you can go find as well. So find will kind of, if you have a, a name of someone, say if you want to know who Johnson is, uh, you'd be able to find how many times they're mentioned, where they're mentioned in uh, the entire book. So page turns are pretty quick. You know, they, uh, they're pretty responsive, nothing too crazy. Going back to library now. Okay, so the next thing that we want to look at is uh, a magazine. Uh, we're going to look at the Rolling Stone and see how things look on there. I have Daniel Craig right here on both of these. So both of these magazines were purchased from Barnes & Noble. Ironically, we did purchase it on the Nook Tablet HD, and then when we purchased it, it was automatically synced to both devices. So we'll let the readers decide which they like better, but it looks like the Nook HD Nook is HD's. showing a little bit more color, a little bit more vibrancy. It's doing it way better, definitely, especially with that resolution. Both have page turns, uh, animations, a little bit slower on the Nook tablet. Nothing to really uh, <laughs> make your... Uh oh, let's get the fire off of there. Yeah. <laughs> you can see here it's a lot more white on the Nook tablet this HD. This is actually showing more of the paper. It is, yeah. It's showing far more of it. You're, you're getting a little bit of loss down there. Uh, one of the things that uh, the, the Nook tablet HD does is article view. And this is a new technology to allow you to sort of focus in on a particular page. You see here that we've taken uh, the article on the actual new uh, magazine page into a more condensed, readable form, which I think is a very good, very good setting to yeah, have. Yeah, and you're only relegated to just pinching and zooming uh, here. So I do like the Nook tablet a little, or the Nook HD a little bit more. Not only is it higher resolution, you can see for yourself that we're only fitting this much here. Right. Whereas we're almost like fulfilling another inch or two on here. But article view is definitely a winner. Um, also, not only do you have article view, but you can actually make scrapbooks. So you can see, much like a real magazine, if you were to tear that page out, you're ripping that page out and you're putting it into our uh, little, well, our little portfolio here. So, so why don't we show them that? If you go to library, go to the very bottom where you look at your scrapbook, you can see not only the page we've most recently torn out, Hard Rain. Uh, we have everything from uh, different magazines, newspapers. You can see here high color, high resolution photos. Um, yeah, we've taken quite a bit of stuff over our uh, using this device. In yeah, the last tremendously couple. useful. Very useful. And no other company is really doing something like this. So that's a huge competitive advantage against, say, an Amazon or a Kobo or virtually any other company. So we've looked at ebooks. Magazines, I guess, newspapers is uh, the next thing for us to look at. So we're going to go to library. And you can see here, if we go to our newsstand, we have the Wall Street Journal on both of these. You can see here, there, um, oh, took us out of it. You can see here that there. <laughs> don't quite know what that is. <laughs> All right, so we're in both of the uh, articles, and you can see that it's uh, it, it it's more like the unlike the Kobo Arc where you have uh, the full newspaper page, much like a real newspaper would look. It's more of in a condensed ebook esque format, so it's more readable than 
it simulating a newspaper. Yeah, and, and this devil, allows you to like take advantage of all the features that yeah. you would find in ebooks. And we're not going to rehash this by I mean changing the fonts, font sizes, margins, and line spacing. So uh, you do have the options to severely make a newspaper almost mirror an ebook. Um, some people like that because it's easy to read, especially if your vision is not up to poor, uh, uh, up to par. A regular newspaper, very very small font. With this, you can customize the font the way that you want and it actually appeals to you so you're more likely to read the digital edition of the newspaper. Exactly. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is uh, look at comic books and um, Barnes & Noble sells graphic novels on both of its platform. Uh, they don't sell single issues yet but there are comic companies such as DC that will be offering single issue comics uh, very shortly. So we'll look at uh, X-Men's second coming there. Um, let's turn to the last page. There we go. You can see it was kind of communicating between the two devices there. All right. We'll go to, I guess, the first page here. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll leave it up to you guys, but uh, the resolution speaks for itself. I would say it's definitely showing what it's truly made of on the Kindle. Whoa, the Nook HD. I got Kindle on the brain. Yeah, it seems like comics are looking relatively the same. I think they are looking a little bit better on the Nook HD right. just because of the superior resolution. But the Nook tablet's not any slouch either. But um, this is just one of the factors that may prompt you to like upgrade. Absolutely. You get your fun little page turns on this one and you just get a little slide on that one. Yeah. Uh, what we're going to do next is look at actually video and uh, show you how speaker quality, sound, and full motion streaming works. I would say, and let's get to a uh, similar part here. There we go. Um, I mean, the resolution is just so much higher on the Nook HD. And as you saw at the beginning, or as you heard, we had the Nook tablet uh, turned up all the way volume-wise. We then turned it down halfway through, turned up the Nook HD, and the, the sound was just, it was just so much more vibrant, so much clearer and crisper and louder yeah i don't know if the video or the sound on the camera really did justice but yeah for sure the audio level quality on uh the nook hd is huge mainly attributed to the two speakers whereas you only have more or less like one little speaker in the middle there so it spreads the sound a little bit more evenly but yeah i found that uh picture quality um, it definitely is a little bit better on the Nook tablet, but this is just because of the resolution. But I do like the on-screen volume, so you don't have to rely on the hardware volume exclusively. Right, right. So it's a cool little feature. Uh, both of these tablets do not allow you to sideload in your own applications. So you're not roped, but you're pretty well exclusively dealing with Barnes & Noble for all of your third-party content. So you won't find the Kindle app or the Kobo app or the Sony app or other apps like that or even Press Reader and Zinio on the Barnes & Noble Nook App Store. So that is to bear in mind. Uh, Peter, now that we've pretty well evaluated the full reading experience, uh, we've looked at the store, uh, presentation and layout, uh, what are your final thoughts? Well, I mean, kind of goes without saying that this is an upgraded next generation version of this, although it may not look it. But um, all in all, it just does everything better. Uh, bigger sound, bigger resolution, 
displays more on the screen, uh, makes better use of what is on the screen, has uh, HD video streaming uh, via uh, their, you know, kind of on-demand video kind of applications they're going towards now. Um, I mean, it's just both of these you can't really use outside the U.S. Both of these you can't sideload any uh, APK files, although they are both Android. I would just say for what they are, uh, Nook HD, hands down, it's just it's more advanced, it's more powerful, faster, better, stronger. Of course, you have Netflix, Hulu, and My Media on, all, on both of these, but uh, that only takes you so far when you can't use Hulu and... Uh, certain video applications outside the U.S. Uh, head, hands down, Nook HD. It's an upgrade in every way, a uh, faster processor, um, more features. Uh, I, the hardware just fundamentally is a large difference. Um, if you're just using it to read, you might not feel too prompted to like upgrade. But if you are into more media-centric type things like comic books, magazines, uh, enhanced ebooks, even student textbooks, you might want to go with the Nook HD just because you'll see more vibrant pictures. And if for longer reading, I mean, that that's type of stuff's like more important. It's like why people go with a Retina Display iPad rather than, you know, a, a 9.7 inch tablet with like crummier resolution. So uh, we'll leave it up to users to decide which they like better. Please comment on this video on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash goodyreader. And for all the latest news, previews, reviews, and everything else under the sun, you can check out our website at goodyreader.com. And for a comparison of the Nook tablet versus the Nook HD, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care.